your drink bottles cool with a super solar fridge. Make a leaky box float like a boat. How to turn a bad hair day into a do that dazzles. And cook up a storm with the power of the sun. Wow, this looks like something out of the space age. But do you look, listen, or just hope for the best? Oh no, this involves food. We need to consult the experts. Man, it's bright out here today. That sun sure packs a punch. I wonder if Daniel and I can put all that solar power to good use to make something useful like food. Maybe it's the perfect day for a solar barbecue. And I know just how to do it. This will be perfect for our solar oven. Now, the ingredients. Potatoes and, yeah, some corn. Into our baking dish. Now I'll quickly grab all the stuff we need to make our solar oven. Not forgetting the all-important silver foil. I'll get Daniel to lay out the cardboard box. Now we'll roll out the silver foil, snip it off. Now roll another length sideways and trim it. Now we'll put them aside while I go crazy with the glue. It's to keep the foil in place. Okay. Now on go the sheets of foil, the long one, and then the sideways one. Now we're ready. On with the sunglasses to keep the glare out of our eyes. And let's head for the sun. Yum! Laura and I are picking out on a punnet of perfect strawberries. Hey, just an empty container left. But maybe I can still have some fun with it. I grabbed a bowl, a cooking skewer, and a cake of soap from the kitchen. Prepare to be amazed, Lara. This plastic box has four big holes right through the bottom. So there's no way it should float, right? Well, watch this. One bowl of water. One holy plastic box. And voila! She floats! Pretty surprising, huh? But I'm not finished yet. I just rub a wet finger over the soap and then dip my finger into the water. Watch what happens to the box. Straight away it sinks. Down she goes. And all it took was a little soap in the water. Water molecules on top of a water surface stick together to form a layer that's like a skin. That strong bonding is called surface tension. And the bonds are strong enough to stop light objects like Grace's empty box from sinking through. But when soap weakens the bonds between water atoms, the surface tension disappears and the box sinks. Laura still thinks it's some kind of trick. We'll just have to do it one more time. With another strawberry box. Ah, the sacrifices we make. Go, Grace. Nothing like a good excuse to eat strawberries. Mm. And speaking of yummy things to eat, I wonder how Carrie Ann and Daniel's solar oven is coming along. Time to put our solar oven to work. Spread it out. Whoa, it really does reflect the sun. Glad we've got the sunglasses. Now on to the middle of the foil goes our baking dish. And this glass ball on top to trap the heat inside. There's the sun. So we'd line it up with the long bit facing the sun. Let's get some rocks. We'll need them to angle the sides of our cooker. Great! The sun's reflected onto the baking dish from every side. Now cook away, lunch. The sun radiates enormous amounts of heat and light. When the rays reach Carrie Ann's foil, they're concentrated and reflected directly towards the baking dish. The food absorbs the heat and gets warmer and warmer until it's eventually soft enough to eat. Now that's going to take a while to cook. And now I'm thinking about dessert. Come on, we'll make a dessert cooker while we're waiting for the main course. <laughs> Today is school photo day, so I made sure my hair looks perfect this morning. Let's have a look at last year's picture. Yikes! Buffo 
drama. What was I thinking? It's so important not to have bad hair on photo day. Yep, this is a poof free zone. Ay, caramba! Look at Jordan's hair! <laughs> that is one serious case of bed hair. Jordan, you better do something about your hair. It's school photo day, you know. Here, take a look. Looks like a bird's nest on your head. Poor Jordan. Wait till he finds out I used the last of the hair gel. Uh-oh, things aren't looking too good for Jordan today. Yeah, but guess what? You know how Carrie ann and Daniel are making a solar cooker? Yep. Well, Muhammad and Yumna are making a solar-powered fridge. Oh, really? This I have to see. Yumna and I are spending the morning at the beach. That sun's getting really hot. And so are our drinks. Oh, no. They'll be boiling by lunchtime. We should put that heat to good use. What about we make a fridge in the sand? I'll dig a hole about two hand lengths deep. While Yumna gets some lumps of coral. We'll need it later. Good, Yumna's back already. Now she can help me finish digging. Okay, place the drinks in the hole and cover it with a hessian bag. The coral will stop the bag from blowing away. There. Our solar fridge is almost ready. Now for the vital ingredient. Water. All you have to do is keep the bag soaked. Muhammad's solar fridge works because the water keeps the Hessian material wet. Heat from the sun makes the water evaporate. Whenever water evaporates into the air, it carries heat away with it. This process reduces the temperature of the Hessian bag, making the air inside the hole colder, thus allowing the drinks to stay nice and cool. All right, time to see how our solar fridge has worked. The bottles look nice and cold. Now for the test. Cool work, solar fridge. <laughs> Our school photo is being taken this morning, and Jordan is having a bad hair day. Can't find any hair gel? Don't worry about it. I know how to make my own super strong brand. I'll just raid Mum's supply of cooking gelatin. You get some warm water, hamster boy. Now I just need to mix a big teaspoon of gelatin into the warm water. Don't look so worried, Jordo. Now I just pop this into the fridge and leave it to set for an hour. Should be ready by now. Yep, look at that lovely slimy jelly. Perfect for taming Jordan's dodgy do. To the styling salon, sweetie. Gelatin is made from a protein called collagen, found in animal skin and bones. When you mix it with water, the protein molecules expand. Then, as the water cools, they begin to link together. By the time the liquid is cold, the links between the protein molecules are so strong, the mixture has become a thick jelly. Time to tame Jordan's crazy mane. Hold still, Jordan. Nearly finished. You're gonna look too cool for school. Ta-da! Pretty crazy, eh? Maybe it is gonna be a bad hair day after all. Oh, no, Taryn. I thought Jordan was having a bad hair day. Yours has gone from bad to worse. Well, I was getting glammed up. In case there were any last minute invitations to a certain solar cooked lunch. While we wait for my mains to cook, we'll whip up a tasty dessert. While Daniel gets the plastic wrap, I'll peel an apple. Thin slices go onto the plastic wrap. Just add a touch of cinnamon. Yeah, sugar thanks, Daniel. And a few sultanas. Wrap it up. And looking tasty already. Now how to cook it. I know! This time we'll need a smaller box, black cardboard and two foam cups. Again, we'll put tin foil on the cardboard. Lots of glue. Stick it on. But this time, 
we're going to roll up the cardboard in the shape of a cone. Sticky tape so it stays together. I'll get Daniel to cut out black cardboard to line the inside of the foam cup. This will absorb more heat to cook our strudel. While well, I cut a hole in the top flaps of the box. That's where our cone's going to sit. Crumple up newspaper so the cone doesn't wobble around too much inside the box. Now the cone goes inside one of the foam cups. And the cup with the black insulation in it tucks inside the cone. Nice and snug. Right, into the hole it goes. Tape it up. And our space age solar cooker is ready to go. I'll grab the dessert and we'll give it a little sun time. Okay, sun's still strong. Now let's set up the cooker on the garden chair. Not that way, silly. The cone points at the sun. Now the dessert goes into the foam cup at the bottom. Line it up perfectly. And time to cook. It's been a couple of hours, so it must be ready by now. Just stick a fork in. Yep, soft. It's cooked. So's the corn. Yum, yum. Now let's check dessert. What do you reckon, Daniel? Yep, our strudel is ready. Yum. Carrie Ann's apple cooker works because it efficiently captures the sun's heat. The black funnel absorbs heat, making the surface warmer. The foil on the inside reflects the light and heat from the sun. So all that solar energy cascades down the funnel to cook the apple. Solar cooking is the greatest. Man course is yummy. Now for dessert. Mmm, this lunch is so cool. Well, hot actually. Great cooking, guys. Pity they didn't invite me. Maybe your hairstyle would have put them off their food. I think you'd better go and wash out all that gel. In fact, we've all got to go because we've come to the end of another show. See, See you next time. time.